Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Aaron Bennett here, and I wanna to talk to you about the crypto earn part of this awesome app that I've been using. I've been uh, staking some coins with crypto earn on the crypto.com MCO Visa debit card for a couple months now. And I wanna go over exactly how much money I've made and show you on my phone um, exactly how they're paying out. So yes, they're paying out every week. Yes, I'm getting money every single week just for having crypto on my phone. I'm not losing crypto, I'm not investing it, I'm not gambling it, I'm not trading it, I'm just staking it. And that's what's really exciting about this. So going over to the phone right now, as you can see, you can see total all-time earning is $3.38. And you may be like, well, that's not a lot of money. And you're right, it's not a lot of money. And that's because I haven't been staking that much. So you can see I did a three-month term here ends in 44 days of USD coin, USDC. So if I click that, it'll bring me to a page that says I deposited crypto, or I deposited USDC, 255 USDC on January 14th. And every single week thereafter, it has paid me the equivalent of 10% a year, but it's paid out every single week. So in 44 days, I will have the ability to withdraw my 255 USDC, and I can withdraw that in, in 44 days, and then I'll keep my earnings, which at this point, it's $3.27459, right? It's, it's just over $3 in USDC. Now, if I had invested $2,500, this would have been 10 times that. So 10% a year is a really, really great return. Uh, it's, a, it's an excellent return on what is essentially a coin that backs and tracks the US dollar. So very, very, very little to worry about when it comes to will I lose any US dollar of this? No, because this tracks the the dollar. Uh, something pretty huge would have to happen for the USDC to to stop essentially working as it's intended. So heading over to the other MCO uh, MCO crypto earn stake that I did. Now this one, I just did the one percent, which means that I can take this out at any time. You can see it's flexible assets here, so I can go ahead and withdraw what I invested, which is 50 MCO. So you can see February 13th, I did a crypto earn deposit of 50 MCO. At that point, an MCO was valued at $6.20. Right now, it's a little bit less than that. Um, but it doesn't matter what the price of MCO does. I still have that MCO, which I can actually just easily transfer to my to my other wallet. So if I click negative here, so on the on the very top left, you can see a plus or a plus on the right side, a negative on the top left. If I click the negative, I have the ability to withdraw that MCO like immediately into my available assets. So the flexible MCO stake is a lot less. So 1% a year is minimal, but I figured I'm going to be having this MCO on this wallet. So I decided, well, rather than just keeping it in my wallet on this app, I may as well do a flexible stake and at least make 1%. So I do have more MCO on here. I didn't put everything. I may as well though, actually just, just talking about this now, there's no reason why you should have MCO in your wallet here that isn't in a flexible stake. And that actually applies to every single coin you have. So I'm gonna click the plus on the top right here where it has that plus sign. And I'm gonna to go to any single coin. So if you are storing, for example, Chainlink, which is a really awesome coin, a flexible stake is 2% a year. So if you're, if you're using this phone, if you're using your app here as a wallet, if you're using this as a place to store crypto, you should be putting it in a flexible stake minimum or a higher, a one month or a three month if you wanna earn much, much higher earnings. Uh, the only downside is then you can't take that crypto out. But if you have a long-term vision, if you're not 
you know, if you're not a day trader, if you're not trying to, you know, trade coins every couple of days or every week or two, then it really makes sense to stake these coins long term. So let me go back. So click click the plus again. I'll show you some other some other uh, staking percentages. So CRO CRO coin. I mean, this is when it gets huge. So a flexible stake is twelve percent. If you're holding any CRO guys, you should not be holding CRO in this wallet without staking it in the crypto earn feature. It makes it makes absolutely no sense. Um, there is no benefit to not. You can actually just transfer it from the crypto earn directly into your normal wallet on this app and then do whatever you want with it. You can trade it, you can sell it, you can transfer it. Uh, it doesn't take any time to, to take it out of crypto earn and bring it into your normal wallet. So 12% a year for a flexible stake is insane. Uh, all of these um, percentages will be higher if you are staking over 500 MCO. So there is a benefit to all of the crypto earn percentages. You do get often maybe 2% more if you're staking 500 or more MCO. So right now, about $2,300, $2, you know, plus or minus $2,300, $2,500. Uh, but if you're doing that, not only do you get the higher level card, which gets you that free Netflix per subscription and also brings your 2% cash back to 3%, it also allows you to get higher on the crypto earn. So definitely good to do that if that's in your budget and if that's what you wanna do. Kinda of wish I did that before, uh, planning on upgrading uh, eventually. So if I were to click Let's see, what's another good coin? Uh, obviously, USD, uh, you know I'm doing the three-month 10%, which is, honestly, that's that's incredible. So if you're in a place where you, you know, think that you, you know, after the halving or, or, or in a few months, you want to have some crypto available, um, you want to have some USD because maybe you think the market's going to go down, maybe you just want to, maybe just have USDC anyway. All the stable coins are in fact 10% for a three month stake. Obviously, if you have over 500 MCO staked or more, you do get, I believe, an extra 2%. I've made another video on that as well. You can check that out if you head over to, let's see, earn, and you click the question mark at the top right. So once you're in that same page, you click the question mark on the top right, and this is where you can see exactly how much everything would get. So if you click that toggle without the stake, MCO gets 4% for a three month term. If I move this over to flexible, all right, so this is actually pretty significant. So if you were, if you were staking 500 or more MCO on a flexible earn, you're getting 4% which is actually huge. So it jumps to 1% to 4% if you're staking 500 or more. Uh, that's that's amazing. True USD goes to 8% for a stake versus 6%. So most of these jump up 2% if you are indeed staking more than uh, 500, five, I should say 500 or more. Um, not over, it doesn't have to be over 500, it can be 500 exactly. Um, USDC goes from six to eight, uh, Yep, most things go up 2% except for the MCO. So if you have the money, definitely want to do that. If I click view completed terms, you can say I have no, uh, I have no, uh, no crypto earn history yet. So no, nothing has completed. You can see I have 44 more days. That would be 44 days of 90 days. It was a three month term. And yeah, you can see that every single week, every seven days, uh, this is for the USDC stake. Every seven days, I am getting the same amount of USDC. So right here, getting USDC every seven days. Uh, you can see here the earnings rate, 12% uh, if you're over 500 MCO or 10% if you are uh, equal to or, well, it's actually, it has to be at least 50 um, or less, 50 or less, I should say. The, the, the challenge the weird thing about this site is there you don't get anything if you're in between say 51 and 499 
uh, that still goes to 10%. So they did this a little bit strange. You have to be 500 or above MCO stake to get 12%. Uh, anything below 500, you get 10%. Uh, it's a little odd how they did that. Um, but yep, heading over to the MCO, you can see I am getting paid every single week in MCO. Um, pretty cool here. So I can't suggest this enough. It's really cool. So this MCO paid me, uh, again, it's, it's minimal because this is 1%. It's 1% of, you know, 50 MCO at that point, it was $310. So, but it's still getting paid. This one's, I think four, four cents. So it's obviously very small, but if you had say, you know, 10,000 MCO in here, $10,000 or $5,000 of MCO, and you're getting paid 4% on a flexible stake, I mean, that's crazy. So at any point you could take that out, you can go ahead and trade it, do whatever you want. Um, obviously the highest staked coin is CRO uh, by far. So if you go to CRO here, uh, it's 12, 14 or 16 with less than 500 MCO staked. 12% uh, return where you can take it out at any any moment is, honestly, that is the, the investment of the century uh, or of the decade or of definitely of the year unless especially if you think that uh, this project is going to be here for a while if not forever so i uh, definitely want to take advantage of this if you have any of this coin so i just want to finish off uh, with this if you're using this wallet to store your crypto go ahead and um, add them to the uh, earn section i need to do that as well um, i do have other coins in my wallet that i have not uh, heeded my own advice which is kind of silly because it's very easy to move money in and out of the flexible assets. Um, obviously, if, uh, for the three month term or one month term, you do not have the ability to move it out. So if all of a sudden the market spikes and the coin goes up 100% and you're like, shoot, I wanna take profits, you, you can't sell what you have in a three month term at any moment. Uh, you can only sell what, you, what, what it's earned you. So for example, this three dollars and twenty seven three point two seven USDC, I can trade that. I can trade that. I can sell it. I can move it to Bitcoin. I can trade that to another wallet. I can, that's mine. Uh, but this two hundred and fifty five is locked for another forty four days. So keeping that in mind, um, it's important to keep that in mind. Depending on what your uh, what your investment strategy is, um, how you how you're viewing crypto, if you want to be trading or just long term investing and holding projects that you love. Um, like Chainlink, which is a an, an awesome project in my opinion. Uh, for one, a lot of these are, I mean, these are some incredibly popular coins. Binance coin, uh, people are storing that. Obviously, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, EOS. Um, you can see for, let's see, what was that? For Bitcoin, it's actually very low. Um, Bitcoin is 0.5% for flexible 2 or 3.5%. If I head over to see what it's like with 500 MCO staked, so let's see, flexible, it goes from half a percent to 1%. So it's very, very low. Three month for Bitcoin, it jumps to 5.5%. So that's not bad. 5.5, if, you, if you're if you going to be storing Bitcoin, if you're going to be having Bitcoin and keeping it and storing it, and you're in this for the long haul, of I'm talking long haul of years and years. I mean, getting 5% a year on your Bitcoin is, is really good. Um, let me see down here. They actually go over some of the minimum, uh, minimum limits. Alrighty guys, I will end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and make sure to like and subscribe to this video. If you like uh, these videos on the crypto.com app, um, liking it really helps it get out to other people, which guess what? The more people that see this, the more people that invest, the more people that download the app and invest and stake and buy MCO and CRO, the higher the value of your MCO and CRO goes. So it's really in your best interest to, this is going to sound so cheesy, it's in your best interest to actually like this video. That sounds like the world's worst freaking plug in the world. But the, the growth of this coin, the growth of this project means your investment grows. So think of it that way. And if you don't want to like it, I don't care. You don't have to like it. I don't care. Um, <laughs> all right. I'll end the video there. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.